But each of this team, these teams, has already lost so far. They're both one and one. Again, you can lose and still be great at the end of the year in college basketball, but nobody wants to walk out of here one and two on the season. If you're looking to boil it down a little bit, a big issue for Duke in the first couple of games has been rebounding, and a big issue for Michigan State has been three-point shooting. As Hall will hit one. Duke 14 and four all time against Michigan State, including three and one in the Champions Classic over the years. Tough catch in traffic, and Filipowski got Sissoko. Hall to go away from the basket, but that was excellent by Mark Mitchell to come over from the weak side. The smart defense by Filipowski just stayed between Sissoko and the basket, made him finish a tough shot where he was going away from the hoop a little bit. That jump hook. Deflected by Fears and turnovers plaguing the Blue Devils right now. Fears lays it in. Well, Jeremy Roach just trying to make a pass over the top to Filipowski, but Fears got his hands on it, able to take it the other way. And this is the kind of transition that Michigan State needs. Sissoko doing a great job of making him catch it so far off the lane. Two guys who like physical basketball. And this battle goes to Philip Hooden. He certainly didn't look like he lacked for confidence last year, but, you know, easy to be more confident when you're healthier. Nice move by Malik Hall. Well, getting Malik Hall down into the... Hall can't get by Filipowski. Aiken steps in. The lefty misses the jumper. Cooper the rebound. And the three from Jaden Akins. What great ball. After an offensive rebound, that seems that's always the best time on the arc for the Spartans. And this is a good shooting team. It was an excellent shooting team. They led the Big Ten in three-point shooting. Terrific job with the high low. And a mismatch here. Aikens on Filipowski. And here comes the help. Open underneath is Young. Well, they went with a triple team. Yeah, just a miscommunication. So you got Aikens on Filipowski. He does need some help. So Malik Hall digging down. Now Carson Cooper comes over. And then Ryan Young just able to get and just a great pass by Filipowski for the easy bucket. And a big loss as he goes to the bench with his second. And now a shot goes down. And five against James Madison. Just the screen by Cooper. How often shoes come off in college basketball? High tops. It's like, yeah, high tops like they don't, don't tie yeah. them. This is what Tom Izzo wants from A.J. Hogard. Left-handed, he can shoot at the three-point range, and he's super athletic. Wide open. Nice look. Hogard to Cooper. Mitchell the shot fake into some traffic. Count it and one. He was in. Largest lead of the game now for the Blue Devils. And Mitchell to the line when we come back. Michigan State just slow getting into their ball screen action. Carr. Double team. Mitchell with a block out of bounds. Mark Mitchell, a terrific defender, can guard just about any spot on the floor. Regardless of Proctor Roach, are they staying, are they going? He said, Coach, I'm coming. And he was the first of this outstanding Duke class. There's one that'll go for the Spartans. Tyson Walker. Hogard. Akins. Good. And it's knocked away. Three seconds for Duke. Mitchell lost it, and it's out of bounds to end the first half. And a good job by Sissoko to come down with a rebound. What a pass. Great feed. Hogard into Hall. And early in the year, but a great box out and outlet. But to the sideline on the catch. No pressure. That is the, the defense in a bad spot. Hogard much more of a driver than a shooter. The kick to Hall. And he'll make a corner three. That's just a beautiful. But watch this pass. The action going to the right. Everybody comes in two on the ball. And that little hook pass cross court, that's a big time pass by Aiden. And remember, this Michigan State team played Tennessee in an exhibition for, for the, the relief effort in Maui. Really nice play. Boy, Filipowski does such a good job when he's rolling to the basket of getting open and always makes that tough catch. Tough bucket for Walker, you were saying about Michigan State, Tennessee. Paul. Mitchell's playing with three. Hall over top. Aikens with a putback. And that's where Duke can be a little bit. Hall sizing up Filipowski on the perimeter. Tough shot. And it goes. Showing some versatility. Just by Malik Hall. That is not an easy shot, Caleb Foster. Ooh, Foster initiated that contact. No call. 
Young, nice return feed. Proctor and one. He's got six rebounds, couple of points in 13 minutes off the bench. Foster steps into it and buries it. Way players that Tom Izzo has had, maybe since Gary Harris, but he needs to be more aggressive on the offensive end as Caleb Foster is. And Foster just told Young, get out of the way. I want to give it to Filipowski. And Carr blocked it. What an athlete. And Carr really only in the game because Hall picked up the foul. He's kind of playing a small ball four right now, and he blocked another one. Filipowski, though, wins in the end. But Filipowski is... Dan Schulman, Jay Billis, Holly Rowe, first game of two here for the State Farm Champions Classic. Kansas-Kentucky still to come. Does Michigan State have another rally in them? That will help Tyson Walker. Well, Tyson, every time he's on the floor, and when he's in the corner, you really have to watch him. Walker, there it is! And any time Cohen Carr's in the corner, they are looking lob. And give Michigan State credit. While they weren't scoring, they never stopped guarding. Put good pressure on that shot. That was not a good shot by Caleb Foster, but Holloman almost fouled him. Oh, Walker buries another one. But it's only eight feet off the ground. You don't need to, you don't need to talk about that. <laughs> give me some cover, Dan Schulman. This time a long two will go, and he's feeling it. He just uses that dribble. Reed Mitchell and went over him with that right hand. That's just too easy. Filipowski. And he's got a chance for a three-point play. Able, he's yeah. got to roll hard to the basket. Walker the drive. Switches hands, and it goes. What a play. It looked like he got that in with the left hand as he was falling to the floor. And it's not like guys like Walker and Akins and Carr can't get to the free throw line. They've got the guys to do it. This guy, too. Hall the turnaround. Nicely done. That was pretty. The double on Filipowski. Nowhere to go. Has to give it up. Cross court. The three for Foster. A good patience by Filipowski. Shot clock at seven. Proctor sees it. Again, a wide open three, and again it goes for Foster. Well, that's just too long of a distance for A.J. Hogard to have to help on that ball screen drive. Wide open three. Now, Filipowski got the double, and then they basically took it off, and he was able to see cross court. And then when, you know, he's driving right into help, right into Malik Hall, and A.J. Hogard just came way too far off a corner shooter. Certainly not waving the white flag, but Roach shakes his defender and gets it back to a double-digit lead for Duke. Walker off the side of the backboard, Proctor the rebound, and then a hard foul by Hogard that Proctor did not appreciate.